again. Thought I'd give another quick go. And um hopefully I'll do a bit better than I did the first time. Uh we've seen we've seen all this. Is there a way to skip this? I'm not sure there is. Hopefully I haven't got to start again. I hope not. Let's uh, resume. Let's resume that. Right. The analyst. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change. I actually didn't realise that this was a 2015 game. <laughs> I thought it was brand new. But, well, I'm not going to say. I know I said it in the last video, but these graphics are really good. So, you have yeah. committed to command me with this game. This is different. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. <laughs> All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh, I got that, have I? Right, R2. Right, I see a scarecrow. House at the back, or is it a barn and a field with well, sky, of course? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Right, okay. So, makes, um, I don't know, uneasy. Scarecrows are a bit creepy, anyways, aren't they? Screw that one. Okay. Honestly, it's good. What do you think is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. Oh, I said it, didn't I? Oh, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say, we, for example. So, uh, if a scarecrow wasn't there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and what if I told you that this part was haunted? Um, <laughs> I'm a bit, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to stay there on my own if it was haunted, nope. Go away with that. Go away. No way. No way. So if it was on my own, I'd be scared. On me, Jack Jones. I'm a big girl's blouse. So no, no. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of of the supernatural. Well, there seems to be out of time for this session. But we'll 
Alright. so far does it do this every time is it oh no all oh, right I see uh, yeah okay No, I think this is going to be a good game. I really do. I hope so. Got some big names in it. For a game. So that bit that I played before was just like a prologue. Okay, no worries. As soon as I get used to editing and stuff, I'll edit a load of crap out. But I am just starting up on doing this sort of stuff, so... I'll try and keep it clean. I wonder if she can die in this, not like heroes. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washington tonight, Mr. Sunshine, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, Still cool that this is free, uh, though. Let's take a moment to it is cool. address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just, I just want, want you all to know, know. Um, it, it means, means it means so, so much, much to me that we're that doing this, and that uh, I know I it would mean so, so much, much to Hannah and Beth, Beth that we're we're, we're all, all still here together, together. and I'm thinking of that. Swear this guy was in an episode of Prison Break and all. item that I picked up in the last video.
I'm not sure how long I can make these videos for. Like how long each video. Like I say, I've never done it before. So if it cuts off, then I do apologise. Fucking hell, already. Shall I move on? Walk a bit faster. Can you just stick to move the camera? Yep. Can you just stick to up around objects? Alright, okay, yep. Oh, right, yep, right there, I see it. Right. We get it's busted to climb over. Right, so as you climb, ah, oh, right, okay, there's something shining over here. Climb. Uh, do it safe, I reckon. different from um, playing Battlefield and Star Wars I suppose. Mind you I did play um, three episodes of uh, Life is Strange which I can always I can always uh, put up on air if anybody's interested in that. So um, like I say not very good at the not very clever at these games but you know I'll try. I don't know if I can keep watching the train. Cool. Yeah. If you're unsure of what to do next, you can use your current objective by pressing. Keep going, let's walk a bit faster. There's something glittering up there, I just saw that. Right, so what's that? Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Uh, tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Right. The black one, black butterfly, prophesies the dreamer's death. Danger red, butterflies warn events. Total uh, tragedy affecting friends. No, that was. <sighs> fortune of white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no.